Okay, so I'm going to go over how to make simple hand, really simple hand, with relatively okay topology, just using an alpha or a silhouette. So in this case, I've just got a simple silhouette of a hand, um, white being the area that we want to extrude, and black being the area that we don't want to extrude. So just save that out as a JPEG, we can save it as a PSD. Now if I come into ZBrush, and for instance I'll start with just a Dynawax sphere, whatever you like. In your alpha slot, if you import the hand silhouette, now oh, I've already imported it, so here's the hand silhouette. Now I've got my hand silhouette, there's a handy function under alpha which allows you to turn whatever your alpha is into a 3D model by extruding um, based on the grayscale value. So here, I'll just show you for example, I think the default resolution is 100. If I click make 3D, it makes, my, makes me a hand, but there's a little bit, it's kind of webbed a little bit between the fingers here. So you can fix that by um, upping the resolution, so I'm going to change that to say, change it to 500, see what we get. There we go, we got a nice high res hand, probably a little bit too high, so I'm going to change that to 256. So I can adjust the depth as well, that's pretty good depth at the moment. And we can change the amount of smoothing on the hand as well, and whether we want it double sided or not, in, in this case we do. So I'll smooth it out a little bit. Okay, so now we've got a rough hand shape in 3D already. Okay, it's very flat, not really hand like at all. So, just got to do a few things to fix it up. So, first thing is first is down in your geometry menu, what we want to do is re topologize this so it's easy to work with. Um, if I start trying to move this around at the moment, it's much too high poly for me to move easily. So I'm just going to go into my Z remesher, set my target poly count around say 200, and hit Z remesh. Here you go. So this gives you already relatively okay topology. It's nothing special. It still needs a fair bit of work, but it's enough that you've got edge loops around the fingers here, which are easy enough to bend into shape. Alright, so we're just going to do a little bit of pushing and pulling here to get the hand into shape. Now, first thing you want to do is we want to make sure that the hand has a little bit of curvature to it. So, in this case, we're going to want to pull the thumb down. thumb down here and around and we're going to want to pull the middle of the hand up here and the sides down. Oops, I'll turn my X symmetry off. A bit of curvature to the hand there. And we can go through and use the inflate tool as well to just add a little bit of volume to it. A bit of volume to the underside of the hand here. Um, it's always good to use your own hand as reference when you're doing these bits just to see where the volume sits. So in next to the thumb here there's quite a fleshy bit. And pull that out. And then there's the other fleshy pad in the bottom of your palm which comes across. Slide there. Okay, just adding a little bit of volume to the hand. So a little bit of volume across the top of the hand, the knuckles. Okay, again 
not perfect at the moment but it's enough to start working with okay now that we've done that we can Z remesh again so we'll set the target polygon count a little bit higher this time so 0.5 so about 500 and there we go we've got a little bit of a nice topology you can go through and smooth those out pull them around so we get a cleaner flow now what you want to do is go in and with masking out each of the fingers and using your move tool so come to the back of the finger here to place the move tool back around to the side and just bend each of the fingers a little bit you can use the move or use the rotate rotate's probably a little bit better in this case um, just mask that bit off just to get a little bit of movement in the fingers Just masking, inverting. Go through, get each of your fingers, you might need to move it a little bit. Try and get whole edge loops. So here I just missed a bit of that edge loop, so I'm just, so I'm just gonna come through, or you can even grab your, your old control with your move brush selected. We'll just select down edge loops like that. Not always the most consistent result though. <laughs> See it's a little bit too soft there. Uh, you can also use your clip brushes to hide. So that's control, shift and click. Okay, so now you're starting to get a hand, you've got curvature in the fingers, the thumb's still a little bit whack, so I'm just going to go through, same thing as I did with the fingers, selecting, moving, bring that thumb down at the knuckle a little bit. doesn't matter if it's a bit rough at the moment, we can fix that up and just give the thumb a bit of a bend yeah. alright, um, just going to come in with the inflate brush and just fill this these sections out, a bit of smooth and inflate around that side, you've still got relatively sausagey fingers so I might just taper out the ends here not too much so just as little light smooth it's one thing you want to watch out for often people when they first start will make sausage fingers smooth flight And I have a feeling these knuckles have crept up a little bit as well, so I might just pull them back.
Um, and this little finger looks like it's wandering off, so I might just rotate that back in. Okay, um, finally, just want to come in and set your Z remesh again, about 0.500, remesh it. Still a little bit funny in here. Just going to use move elastic and just pull the center of the hand up here at the knuckles. And there you go, you've got a base hand that you can use to start sculpting with and adding to your insert multi-mesh brush.